Welcome back. This is Yamachak. We have Gunslinger's Suicidal Airship. Unfortunately, my uh, my mother did not work late last night. She was home earlier than normal, and uh, as such, in bed earlier than normal. So my whole goal of, uh, of putting stuff off until a little bit later, since I'd have uh, the time later, and I'd be able to, to relax a little bit after the stream, uh, kind of backfired because now it is Saturday and I have to get all this stuff recorded. But I've just recorded the uh, the two Yamachak tries for... Uh, for the weekend, and I've got four more KF2 episodes to record today, and then I am I am good to relax for the weekend, and that's going to be it. And the next weekend, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and make sure that I have it all done. It's gonna be the uh, the first full week of recording, so I'm I'm hoping we can we can get something done there properly. But uh, in the background, you'll probably be able to hear my uh, my father doing some grounds work as he uh, trims the hedge with his fancy new toy that he got. Uh, he's out there having a blast with it, I suppose. It's painfully hot, but, you know, you do you. Uh, today there is no stream. It's kind of uh, lonely to a certain extent. Um, because I've, I've been getting used to the streams and I, I want to stream. I might make another Twitch account that I stream on when I just feel like streaming, just for the sake of streaming. Um, but it would be lower quality. It would be much lower quality because I'm not going to be putting in as much effort. Because I still want to have time off and I don't want to overwork myself, but... Uh, if I can, I, I can be one of those streams that I don't like so much, you know, and and kind of uh, if people want to come out and chill around and, and uh, just just chill out for a bit, then uh, you know, stop by and, and check it out. I'm undecided, but I, I might just just a, a little side stream where if I'm like, yeah, I want to go do like three hours of uh, of racks or something in RuneScape, or I want to go play some gunfire right now, I can pop up the stream and kind of chill out and watch for some people but it's not going to like spam my uh, my uh, my followers you know sub boxes and stuff and it's not going to affect the main channel's uh, performance it's just going to uh, end up being a uh, a worse performing channel and if people wanted to, to check it out and chill out a little bit then it'd be fine but the, the commentary is definitely going to be worse on it but i haven't decided yet it'll it'll be something to, to think about because like i've said many times it is tiring um putting on the persona and then uh you know, commentating and, and thinking about all of these different things, it is tiring, and I'm not going to do that if I'm streaming uh, just for just for funsies, you know, because uh, while it is fun, it's not uh, it's not relaxing, it's not uh, it's not time off, and I need that I need that time off, um, which is why I can't work today, even though I, I want to I want to stream, but I can't. I have to I have to uh, I have to limit myself from get burnt out. Uh, despite that, I really really want to because it's been it's been a total blast. I have to wait until Monday to do more streaming. Um, last night I, uh, I didn't eat dinner, so I talked to Leela recently about uh, how this full-time scheduling is kind of affecting my diet and my uh, my life in, uh, in other aspects, um, and how not having the time to do these things is kind of beneficial for me, but it's also kind of not beneficial for me. Um, and then how I was thinking that I might be uh, developing some kind of like uh, eating disorder, potentially, potentially, right? That I would uh, that I would have to keep an eye on it to make sure that uh, that everything is going fine and. And being healthy at the very least, whether whether it's an immediate problem or not, right? But uh, last night I uh, I just I decided not to eat. It wasn't that I didn't have the time or that I forgot about it, but I was I was up there looking about what to eat, and I just I I, I decided I wasn't going to eat. And then I had like a a really depressing day, honestly. Like the uh, the night was super depressing, and I was like super sad. And I went off to do like an hour of next. And, uh, and RuneScape, I, I died once, like five minutes in, and I just I just rage quit. And like I'm like, this isn't this isn't me. Like something something's wrong today, you know. Um, so I didn't end up eat, really eating yesterday, which is which is a problem. Um, I don't want that to become a habit. Like obviously, not eating is gonna make you lose weight, um, but not not in a healthy way, right? Like it's not that's not how you want to do it. Um, but. Uh, yeah, it's 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 mildly concerning. Like I said, it's not. I don't think it's anything that I have to that I would call an eating disorder. But um, I think that it could develop into that if I'm not keeping an eye on it, especially since I'm giving myself so much of an opportunity to to not eat and to to distract myself from eating. Uh, and then it's it's not even really a, a place where eating would really get in the way. You know, like it, it's uh it, it's prime time for for me to to end up with with some kind of a an issue with that. And I want to make sure that uh, I nip that in the butt. And I do want to lose weight, but you know I want to do it properly and, and healthy. And last night was not so good towards that end. Like I said, I've been using this uh, this all this extra time to, to kind of uh, benefit myself and 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 
spend less of my time eating just because I have less time, but make sure that I'm focusing on a proper diet. Um, so, you know, any progress is, is good progress, but some progress is, uh, is not, well, not any progress is good progress. Some progress is bad is what I'm trying to say. I was just doing a really bad job of it. Um, but I don't think it's anything worth concerning. Um, I don't think it's anything to be concerned about, obviously. Um, missing dinner on one day isn't like that big a deal in the end of the day, but just uh, it's very unusual for me. And uh, after I've been, you know, previously missing dinner because I've been forgetting about it and then just deciding to not eat is, uh, I feel like it's uh, it's particularly bad. It's not a, it's not a good habit. It's not it's not something I want to develop. So I wanna I wanna make note of it and make sure that uh, that doesn't happen again. You know, and even just having like a sandwich or um, like a, a fried egg or something. Just just having something is is gonna end up being better. Cause I, at the end of the day, like I'm supposed to be taking my medicine with uh, food as well. So if I'm not eating, then I don't know what kind of adverse effects that's gonna have on the medicine. And it's like I'm not gonna not take my uh, my hormones. Cause no way, no way I'm not taking my hormones. I'm taking my hormones, right? So even if I don't eat, I'm still taking my hormones, and then I don't know um, what 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 kind of effects that's gonna have on uh, on the uh, on the effects of the hormones, and whether that's healthy or uh, okay <laughs> to do. Um, so I want to make sure that I'm eating just for that sake as well. Um, but anyway, uh, last night I was super 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 depressed, like really really depressed. I was it was it was it was bad, right? Like it was. Uh, I wouldn't say that I was uh, at the point of like being suicidal or anything like that, but uh, it was definitely, I don't know, something was just really bringing me down, and uh, I thought I was going to be talking about it today, and uh, and talking like um, about how I am depressed, and how uh, I need to start working on that, and, and all of the different things that are causing me to be depressed, um, but I woke up this morning, and honestly, I'm not, I'm not feeling it anymore, I feel fine, I feel happy, I feel good. Um, I did shave last night. I, I haven't been shaving for, for a little while, so that, that could be it. Uh, you know, maybe some gender dysphoria or whatever, but it was, uh, yeah, it was an interesting night last night. Last night was, was, it wasn't, like, painful. It wasn't saddening. It was just, uh, all, all in all, like, uh, by and large, it was probably one of the worst nights I've had for, for quite some time, although... Um, the benefit of that, you know, looking on the bright side, my, uh, my depression last night kind of ended up putting me into bed at a decent time. So I fell asleep at like 11 o'clock last night, woke up at 6 o'clock this morning, 5.30ish. And, uh, like, I'm pretty content with that. That feels good. Uh, I am still quite tired because I wasn't quite 8 hours of sleep. And, uh, like I said, it was a, a fairly rough night, um, from the depression, but... Uh, it, uh, yes, it's, it's good. It's good to be, uh, getting up at a decent time and going to sleep at a decent time. And even though it wasn't quite enough tonight, uh, you know, I'll be tired tonight at around the same time, um, because that's how, you know, your circadian rhythm works. And, uh, that'll let me get to sleep at a decent time. And then I'll try to wake up at a better time tomorrow. And then, uh, Monday will come and I'll, I'll try to do again the same thing and make uh, make progress towards getting up reliably at the same time I want to be able to not have to set an alarm when I go to sleep is is the ideal uh, because waking up to an alarm sucks it really really sucks uh, so what I like to do is I like to just train my body to get up at the same time every day and then uh, make sure that I'm going to bed at a reasonable time and then I will just I will wake up in time to get somewhere but even when I was working at like McDonald's um, I didn't set alarms for most of the time I would, I would go to bed at a reasonable time and I'd be like yeah I will wake up in time you know, like it'll just, it'll happen because I went to bed at a time that would accommodate for, for me waking up in time. So I'm not going to have to worry about it and I wouldn't set an alarm. Sometimes I would stay up a little bit late and I'd have to set an alarm. Then in those days I'd be super, super annoyed at work. But, you know, such is life, such is life. Um, yeah, when I want to get to the point where I don't have to do that, especially with, with recording, like, if I'm, if I'm training myself to get up at like 8 a.m. regularly, actually, hold up, we have to, uh, because I turned down the uh, the music for a recent video. I have to turn that back up. Um, yeah, especially for recording, because like I, I want to train myself to get up at eight, right? And then uh, if I get up at eight every single day, and then I go to sleep a little bit later one day, and I wake up at like ten, also totally, completely fine. There's no no problems with that whatsoever. So. Um, 
it's even more convenient with this because I won't have to like ever set an alarm. But it's super annoying to be woken up by an alarm. It's, it's just so disruptive and like after I've been up, I feel fine. You know, like an hour or two hours later, I, I I don't feel any different depending on whether I woke up with an alarm or not. But like the first bit of the day, I definitely do, and then you know that affects you throughout the the rest of the day as well, right? Because uh, if you don't have a good start to the day, then you don't get uh, you're not uh, you know, you know, if you don't start the day off strong, then you're not going to be uh, doing very well for the rest of the day either. You know what I mean? You got to kind of be consistent the whole way through, and then uh, you'll be uh, you'll be good. You get the matriarch a lot lately, and the matriarch has been getting absolutely destroyed lately. I say as I pretty much die here. But not quite. She's not going to kill me. Not on suicidal, I mean. On Hell on Earth, I probably wouldn't have been able to do that so well. But on suicidal, pfft, nothing, dude. I'm feeling generous. It's weird doing the uh, the longer episodes because uh, I'm used to ending it here. You know, I'm, I'm used to ending it here. But we do another. We do another run. We do another run. We do another run. I'm really tired, though. I will admit. I'll probably go for a nap after I finish recording all these. Oh shoot! I have to actually upload the um, the Amajack tries for today. I'll have to do that after this episode. It's fine. It's fine. It takes about an hour to upload the Amajack tries videos, um, and then about ten minutes to make the thumbnails for it. So you know, as long as I uh, I should be able to record all of the Amajack tries in time, or I should be able to record all the KF2. Uh, in time to make that, but I have to get it uploaded first because I'm going to end at like quarter to, to one or whatever and I'll have to make sure that I have the uh, the video uploaded at least by that point because uploading it from that point is not going to be up until like two o'clock which is uh, which is super super not good, you know, you got to be consistent it's the, it's the consistency that really helps I was talking about it on Twitch the other day and uh, it's kind of like uh, related I guess, but I was talking about it on a stream recently um but like getting these first few viewers is uh, is really really hard. Is uh, but once you have them, then like growing from that point on is, is a lot easier because you kind of you you separated yourself at that point and you you you've risen past the point of uh, it's like a, it's like a threshold, right? Once you're past it, then it, it gets a lot easier. But getting past that threshold is like really hard. And there's like another threshold later on where uh, you want to move up to like properly making a living on it, which is like a whole other threshold that you have to move past. Um, I don't. I don't think we're there yet. I don't think we're at the point where we are uh, past any thresholds. So I think I have to start making guides. I think I have to start making guides. I think. I think it has to be done. Either that or Minecraft videos. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, I'm not decided yet. Either of those would probably get me to the points of uh, success pretty easily. Um, I'm thinking I might go for Minecraft videos. If I did like one Minecraft video a week, I think people would be into that. And. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure. I know that. Uh, I know that people have uh, shown their support for Minecraft series. I know that people have said that they would be interested in it and they would watch it and they would enjoy it. Uh, I'm not sure. It's it's a big decision. It's a big decision. It's a commitment, right? It's a commitment. If I did, it would probably be. I don't know. It'd be either Terra Firmacraft or Vanilla. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm unsure. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. Either that or guides. Because guides do really well. Guides do really, really well. Guides and like showcases and all that kind of stuff. We got uh, we got the beta coming up soon. We got the uh, the minigun from the commando and the uh, the mine launcher or whatever for the medic. We're going to be checking both of those out as soon as they drop. I don't know. Are we going to be getting uh, like Halloween sets and stuff too? Are those coming with the update? I don't know. I haven't checked any of them out yet at all. I haven't seen... Uh, I've, uh, I've intentionally avoided other YouTubers that uh, that make KF2 content for that reason. Which, you know, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for not giving you the views, but I want to I want to experience it for myself the first time as it comes out, as it's not done in the beta. I don't want any spoilers. I want to, uh, to experience them for myself the first time when they are completed. Uh, so I have uh, I've been avoiding all content so that, uh, that I'm not spoiled. So I'm really excited about, uh, about new content, of course. New content is always fun. We'll be checking it all out. It's exciting. It's good for the channel. You know, it brings in uh, 
brings in users at least to KFC, which is its potential viewership. Uh, which means that right now it'd be a fantastic time to make uh, showcases with the the new guns and stuff to to showcase to add to my channel and then uh, be able to share it on the the subreddit or something like that to get some some marketing going on. Hello, yeah, sure, just kill me, dude, just kill me. Be fantastic. I shouldn't have gone down there. It was my mistake. But right now would be a good time to make showcase videos of the new guns and then upload those and share them to the subreddit. Because that's good marketing. Um, I don't know. I have to I have to find some way to market the channel though. I'm not I'm not sure how. I don't. I'm like I'm not. Uh, you know, I didn't go to like uh, you know business class or anything like that. I don't know where to run. Like I don't know how to advertise myself. I don't have the money to run like advertisements. I don't have the content to run it either. So. It's all about uh, figuring it out as I as I go. This is my uh, strategy right now. Okay, I'm I'm in the exact same place. You know what? You're gonna get out of here. Okay. Um. But I want I want I want to find some way to advertise the content. It'd be good. Good to get some more viewers. I mean, in the first place, just to have more people to comment is always nice. More people to interact with. More people to uh, to show their support and give uh, feedback would be would be amazing. Um, you know, not not just for for making money, but uh, for having fun with it, and for enjoying it, and feeling proud of it. But. Uh, yeah, I talked about uh, being depressed, right? I talked about how I was depressed. Um, I don't know. I think I don't know. I was I was planning on talking about what I'm, uh, what's causing my depression, but I don't know if I want to open up that much, you know. But screw it, dude. Screw it. I think I already have anyway. You guys already know all the my inner demons. But uh, I think what was causing my depression last night was the uh, was the, was the beard. Cause I had a bit of a beard going on that gave me uh, a lot of. Uh, grief so I uh, put some time into shaving which I don't do very often I like I want to do it more often but I don't have a clog in my I don't have a, like a filter in my drain so it's like just a major pain and we're trying to find one but you can't find them that fit this dang sink because it's like a stupid like screw in cap instead of like a plug you know so you can't just get like a normal drain filter and then like even if I could get something like I have to have water in the sink so I have to have the filter in and then like squeeze it out I don't know it's like a whole thing right it's a whole thing I don't, I don't shave too often because I don't go out anywhere, and uh, it doesn't really matter that much. But uh, evidently, it really does because as soon as I finished shaving, I was like, "Yeah, no, everything's good. <laughs> We're fine. I'm happy again." Um, but the other things that are kind of contributing to my uh, my uh, my sadness, my depression, I don't, I don't have it too bad. I used to have depression really bad, really, really, really bad. I used to be. Uh, you know, up to the point of uh, of uh, suicidal thoughts and, and all that. Like I used to, I used to be at that point myself. So I, uh, oops, sorry, I, I bumped it, putting away some hair. Got some hair in my eye, and I tried to move it. And my uh, my hand bumped the. I still have the hair. In my it's still in my eye. I bumped it, and I didn't even get the hair out of my eye. Like hold on. Um, but I'm not there anymore. Nowadays, I'm just mildly uh, demotivated. You know. At uh, at the worst of times. Which uh, which isn't today. Right now, I am highly motivated, but I think that uh, that recognizing depression is is good. Um, obviously, it's good being able to recognize your depression and recognize the problems that you face, and and working towards fixing them is, is of course the the first step and most of the steps towards getting to the point that you're happy with yourself. Um, and I uh, I've definitely done that. I've definitely recognized that I have a problem and that uh, that it needs to be fixed. I'm not going down there again. Okay. Definitely recognize that there's a problem that needs to be fixed, and uh, I think it's related to, to largely my weight. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how much I weigh, but I weigh. I'm not. Uh, I'm not like you know. Uh, okay, somebody's right outside my window now. I'm not at the point of being on like a reality TV show for fat people, but I uh, I'm definitely overweight, and uh, that's that's causing some grief in my life. But you know, I'm working on that now with uh, with working on on eating. Honestly, with, uh, with you know, if you work, if you have to work on eating, I think that it's easier to lose weight. Personally, anyway, I think that uh, you know everybody has their own 
feelings about it and everybody has their own uh, experiences with it but for for me personally I think that's uh, if your problem is not eating enough it's a lot easier to eat something than it is to not eat so much personally anyway I think maybe you know it, it, and it might depend on like uh, where you came from like if you came from uh, you know, not eating enough and you have to start putting on weight then I think it might be easier for you to eat less and then you like you know, if you end up eating too much and you you're putting on weight again you're like yeah no this is fantastic like I can just add in a little bit of my old stuff and uh, it'll, it'll pretty much work out fine right so it depends on where your where your starting point is but uh, having gone from overeating to under eating um, it's definitely been easier for me to, to, to make sure I'm eating although as I said I, I did choose to not eat anything yesterday which is a problem but uh, I didn't say it'd be easy just easier than uh, than the alternative. Anyway, that's uh, that's reason number one, it's, uh, cause number one, symptom number one, not symptom number one, possibly symptom number one. Um, that's that's uh, that's the reason number one though. Is the is the weight? That's 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 the the main thing that's giving me grief. I think. Um, it's just uh, it's just the weight. So it gives it like you see. Uh, I talked about it recently. If you see pictures of, uh, of girls and whatnot that are that are looking pretty, and it's like, yeah, I want to be them. And then, uh, you know, it isn't even like uh, it feels it feels particularly bad because it's not even that uh, I can't look like them, but that I'm I'm consistently choosing to to work against it. You know, and that that uh, that makes it feel like just extra bad. Um, but regardless. Um, that's uh, that's one of them, and I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm making progress. Yeah, you know, obviously it's been like a few days. It's been this week that uh, I've, I've I've had the uh, the reduced consumption of food. Um, but you know, a week, you can't complain, right? You can't complain. If all you have is a week, then then be proud of that. I say. Um, but regardless, I've got. Uh, got the voice that's causing me grief as well so I'm gonna start actually putting in time to practice that and uh, and learn what I have to do with that properly so that I can get to a point that I'm happy with my voice because I am recognizing it as a, uh, a much larger problem than I previously recognized it as so I'm gonna be working on it Monday to Friday I don't want to work on it while uh, like Saturday and Sunday because I don't want people listening to me talk to myself um, but Monday to Friday while I've got the the place to myself I'm gonna add that into my list of things to do throughout the yeah sure whatever we'll take some AF2 2011 today I'll, I'll be adding it into my uh, my list of things to do. Because um, the voice is definitely definitely causing me some grief as well. You know, I've got... Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll be straight with you. I've got, uh, you know, people that I'm uh, interested in romantically, and I just I don't want to pursue it because I don't feel like uh, my voice is at a point where I'd, uh, I'd be happy with it, you know? And uh, it getting in my way like that, I think, is, is a problem. And I need to... I mean, you might you might argue that I have to work on getting it to not be in my way like that. But uh, I think that I have to work on getting it to a point that I'm happy with. I think I'd rather use it as uh, as uh, as motivation rather than, uh, than working on it. It's a problem. It's a, it's a symptom, not a problem. So I'm not going to solve it, you know? Hehehe. <laughs> Suicidal is so fun because you just you do whatever you want and it's gonna work, you know. Hell on earth, you got a little bit more, a little bit more focus. You gotta, you gotta do a little bit better. But on uh, on suicidal, like whatever you do, it's good enough to win. If, you can't, if you're not winning on suicidal, I'll be straight with you. It's not, a, it's not a shot at you. If you're having a lot of trouble on suicidal, it's mostly a problem with with you and your game knowledge and your your awareness it's, uh, that you, that you have to work on. You don't have to work on a build. You don't have to work on getting better guns. You don't get the uh, Get, get the expensive guns and you'll do fine. You suicidal is hard. Moving up to suicidal from from hard is, is is a big jump, right? Like it's it is it is very very hard. It's not uh, like I said. It's not a shot on uh, anybody who's having trouble on suicidal, but uh, hell on earth. I think that you do have to focus more on the gun. Um, you know, obviously you can win with like a nine mil if you're really good, and you'll be totally fine. But anyway, so uh, voice is uh, is one of them. Voice is gonna be getting worked on. Be working on that uh, in time, and uh, hopefully we should see improvements um, very, very, very soon. But I don't know; it'll it'll depend on on how well I'm able to work on it. Uh, let's see what else we have. 
What else is causing me grief right now? Oh, the beard is causing me grief. The beard is definitely causing me grief. Getting to a point where I can afford laser hair removal and just getting rid of it would be fantastic. I don't have that bad facial hair anymore. Um, cause I already have been on laser before once, which did make a big, big, big difference. And I've, uh, I've got, uh, obviously, you know, hormones, which are also making quite a substantial difference. So there's, uh, there's already been major difference in the facial hair area. I used to have like hair all up my cheeks. would be like this huge five o'clock shadow everywhere. Uh, whereas now it's, 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 it's nowhere near that bad. It's, it's mostly just the chin area and the mustache. Um, but getting to a point where I can afford the, uh, the laser hair removal, whether it's through saving up my, uh, my disability payments or through getting a job or through making YouTube successful uh, is going to be very beneficial to me. So I'll be able to, to get rid of uh, another point of grief. Um, also learning how to put on makeup properly and, and doing that consistently uh, to hide the beard shadow is also pretty good. Although doing that when you have a beard shadow is kind of like a whole thing and it's like super annoying. Um, but, you know, it's, it's there. It's causing me grief. It's causing me grief. And that's got to be fixed. It's got to be fixed. Watch, uh... I used to watch Steph Sonyadi back in, uh, back in the day. She was like, uh, she was like goals, you know? She was, uh... She was an inspiration to, uh, to, to me and a lot of other trans people. Um... Because she did, uh, she did a fantastic job of, uh being a role model and, and being an inspiration, well not a role model, but uh, being an inspiration anyway. You shouldn't take celebrities and, and people online and stuff as, as role models, um, because they're not role models. They're, there's there's a lot of stuff that they're hiding that, uh, that you don't get to see, because that's just how the internet works. Um, so you shouldn't take them as role models, but inspirations perhaps, sure, yes. Uh, and an inspiration she was. Um, but I started watching her again lately and I'm just like, yeah, like I just... I know that I can do this too, right? Like, if you can do it, I can do it too, kind of thing. And uh, I want to make sure that I'm putting in the time and the effort that uh, that is required to make it happen. I know that it's a lot of time and a lot of effort, but I uh, I think the reward is is worth it eventually. So I've got to got to make sure I'm working on fixing these uh, these three major problems: the weight, the voice, and the beard. They are the uh, the major the major problems in my life. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.